everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something pretty crazy. What I'm going to do is basically look through Kylie Jenner's Instagram, find enough pictures for me to recreate for a week's worth of posting on my Instagram, and then I'm going to go and buy all the things that I need for those pictures, create them, take them, edit them, put them on my Instagram, and see what happens. The only person that's going to know that I'm doing this is my boyfriend because he's going to help me take my pictures. I want to see if this boosts my Instagram or hinders it. I have over 40,000 followers. Most of those I got years ago when my YouTube was <laughs> doing well. And I was getting like 1,000 to 1,500 likes. And now, <laughs> 600 likes on a post and maybe like maximum 10 comments. Oh, and also I lose followers every day. So, you know, it's great. But I basically want to see if doing my Instagram, like one of the most popular people on Instagram, is going to make a difference. That's what we're going to find out. The first thing that I need to do is go through Kylie's Instagram and find at least seven pictures that I can recreate. So hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. She has 96.7 followers. 96.7 followers, okay. 96 million followers. She roughly gets 2 million likes and 93,000 comments. So I'm gonna go through and look for ones that I can recreate. So for example, this one with the motorbike. I don't have a motorbike and I don't have flamingos, so I think they will be pretty difficult to recreate. I mean, this one, she looks great, but my body just ain't there. <laughs> um, okay, this one. So this one is probably a really good one because it's a mirror one. Um, I have a leather jacket and I have a leather skirt. And the bathroom that she's in doesn't look too glam and my bathroom <laughs> ain't glam. So that's probably a good thing. Sugar bear hair, get that promo girl. Don't have any Beats headphones and I'm not willing to pay for those just for the sake of this video. I could do myself a GQ magazine cover. Maybe that's a bit too far. This picture's gorgeous though. That is amazing. I don't have a red background but love that. This one, okay, let's do something like this. I do have a car. I don't have a car with stars in the ceiling or blue seats but we can make it work. Slip dress, put hair up in a bun, cute. Uh, this one, to do like that. I have this background which is quite similar. Okay, I really like this one. I could probably recreate something like that. I know it is the bra and I definitely won't be having my nipple on show because my dad follows me on Instagram, that would be really weird. Okay, I've got to do something where I get a bit of skin out because it is Kylie Jenner and you know, she does that quite a lot. So that sounded so shady. I've had a little look through and I think that I've got enough. Now I'm going to do online shopping to try and match the outfits as best I can. 15 minutes later. Okay, so I'm now going to check out with all my bags. I've spent, oh, I don't even want to know how much money I've spent on this. Hi, I am back. It is a week later now. The week is done. We're going to talk about it. So let's start at the start. And this is the first picture that I did. I'm going to pop everything up on the screen. It took us about half an hour to get a picture that was close enough and I still had to edit a lot of it. So first of all, the outfit didn't cost me anything because I already had all those items. I went and bought a frappuccino from McDonald's because I can't afford Starbucks. So I went and got that, but then that was free because it took 10 minutes to make and they got my order wrong. It's not exactly the same. Kyla definitely looks a lot better than me. The hair's off, the glasses aren't the same, etc. But it's pretty close and I'm pretty happy with it. The sky, I had to make a lot bluer in editing. This is what I found throughout the week is that I spent a lot of time on Photoshop trying to tweak the image to be more similar. So I got 803 likes and 13 comments. And what I did notice as well, everyone was like, slaying, wow, you look absolutely stunning. And I was like, thanks, girl. But then someone commented, Kylie, and then the heart eye emoji, like, busted on the first picture. So I didn't reply to that intentionally, because I wanted to just kind of let it, let it fly away in the wind. So anyway, yeah, then we go on to the next picture, which is this one, which is the two Polaroids. The only thing that I had to buy for this outfit was the leggings, because I already had a bomber jacket, even though it was green, and I photoshopped it to be orange in this picture. I didn't take it on Polaroids, I took it on my actual camera. This pose was really difficult, because it was, like, really, like, 
it was a good thigh workout and I had the heels on, it was a lot. So I think that I've tore a muscle. It was pretty easy to do, we didn't have to go anywhere to take it, literally just popped a squat in the living room. Interaction wise, this picture got 746 likes and 1, 2, 3, 4 comments. So didn't really do that well at all, just people saying that they like my outfit. The next one is this like leather jacket outfit which Probably the least similar of all the images, I think, because the bathroom's completely wrong, but there was nothing that I could do about that. Didn't work out completely great. Uh, this one got 839 likes, and it's actually the one that got the best, like the highest interaction. It got 15 comments as well. No one mentioned anything about Kylie, but everyone really liked the outfit. So yeah, that was good. That was easy to create. I already had the skirt and the jacket. I bought the top from Misguided. Um, I'll link all the outfit stuff that I bought down below. The next one was the one with the bra. You can see that I've like covered myself a bit more with the jacket. And this was just in my living room again on the sofa. My hair looks really frizzy in this. That's the only thing that really annoys me because her hair is really smooth, mine's really frizzy. Although when you look at that in colour, it's actually not a nice picture at all. So I'm really glad that it was changed into black and white. It got 763 likes and eight comments. The next one, oh my god, let me tell you about this. Okay, Kylie's picture of this is taken in i think it's a rolls royce um she's got a lot of room she's five foot don't know five foot six five foot five maybe i'm six foot and i was taking mine in a mini <laughs> girl you should have seen me trying to get my leg up there my boyfriend who's six foot seven was cramped in the back of my mini i think you can tell that i look super super uncomfortable with this my friend actually texted me after i uploaded this picture saying honestly how smooth the transition was it getting your leg into that position but yeah comments wise on that one nothing major just like the usual i captioned that one just pop into tesco <laughs> made me laugh anyway um next one was this one i couldn't match my background exactly the same and i couldn't find the same outfit the same outfit was is actually on o poly they didn't have my size left so i did the best that i could and i recreated it with pretty little thing the top and the skirt a pretty little thing and the jacket is just a black hoodie that i had from primark this one was super easy to create i literally just put my tripod up and took a picture and um, that got 736 likes and 10 comments then I decided to drop a little spanner in the works and maybe hint that something fishy was going on just to see if anyone would react to that. So I did the famous picture of Kylie with the, when she had the wig with plaits and it was like pink and then blue and then green. I think she wore it maybe Coachella last year or the year before. That got 730 likes and five comments so not massively great but I only posted this a day ago. I put anybody notice any changes to my Instagram over the past week or will be explained on Friday's video. I got I think I know what I'm not going to say. Then the next comment was Kylie Jenner inspired looks. That's what I noticed all the photos are stunning. And then Lisa said I think a new nose. Okay. Yeah, again, that was really easy to create. I just put my hair in plaits, sat in the car, took a picture, and then I, in Photoshop, edited my hair to be the same colour. Then, the one that I posted last night, and the final one, this is the top that I'm wearing right now. It's from Misguided. The jeans I already had, they were from Primark. The lipstick is H&H Cosmetics. Yeah, the comments, again, pretty positive. Nothing about Kylie. It got 722 likes and six comments. On the last one, we had to go to, we had to drive like half an hour to a park and then I was walking around with my belly out and like I really didn't feel comfortable at all. There was a load of old like men fishing and stuff and I just felt like really weird. I actually captioned this a really funny thing as I put, I captioned this one should have bought a belt because I'm holding my jeans up. <laughs> this week I've actually been going out of the way to take these pictures and it's been like quite annoying especially for my boyfriend like they, it, it was touch and go at some points let me tell you you know he's not a professional photographer or anything like that uh, he was taking all the pictures and we were like clashing because he was so like just over taking pictures of me and I was so like perfectionist mode that I just made him take more and more but to be honest I've really enjoyed doing it and I've liked putting in the effort and I think it has paid off because I've been having a lot more comments and my likes have gone up not not massively but yeah i've really enjoyed doing it i just wanted to do a little experiment and see if this would make any changes to my instagram i hope you enjoyed it um while you're here if you want to go and follow me on instagram and stop me 
been on this decline like this on my social blade in the red forever and always then you can go and do that it's just at Hannah Lee Zero and also if you're not subscribed to my channel already then please do that and click the bell if you actually ever want to be notified that I've uploaded a video because apparently now on YouTube when you subscribe to someone you don't actually ever see their videos so great but I hope you enjoyed this video once again if you have any feedback please let's talk in the comments as always I want to chat to you guys so let's go and have a full-on convo down there so yeah I will see you down in the comments and I will see you next time bye